So to get started with Forge, go to forge.autodesk.com and take a look at some of the, the information and documentation there. The Forge platform has a number of APIs that we can access, either it be data, automation, design automation, uh, the Forge viewer, and the BIM 360 API as well. One of the first things we wanna do to get started with Forge is look at how you authenticate or if we need to authenticate. In this overview, we're gonna look at scenarios where we do need to authenticate a specific way. So just taking a look at the step-by-step -step tutorials, one of the very first things you need to do is create an application. So to do that, just go ahead and go to create an account and go to create app. So we want to select all the services to create an app and then go ahead and fill out a name for the application and the other information. Now for now, we'll just enter in a sample callback URL and we'll come back to this later. So now that we have an application created, take note of the client ID and the client secret because we are going to be using this later when we start to use Postman. So to take a quick look at the two-legged token authentication, if you're not familiar with this, there is some information already on the blog for Autodesk Forge where this information has already been going over. This My Postman collection actually does have some Forge two-legged two authentication samples that you can download from GitHub and load directly into Postman. But for this case, we're going to be looking at three-legged token authentic authorization. The reason for this is because we want to access our actual files that we've been using and, and have uploaded through BIM 360 team or BIM 360 design. So let's create a new tab and provide a... and go to the authorization tab and we're going to set this at OAuth 2.0. Now we need to get an access token, so go ahead and fill out the information noted here. Specifically here on the callback URL, we need to set this up for the Postman application. And we also need to go back. We also need to go back to our application and enter this callback URL in our actual app. So we're going to go ahead and edit that here and enter that same callback URL into our application that we set up on Forge. This has to be done to work properly and gain an, an actual authentication code. So go ahead and fill out the other information based on what we see here. And if, you do, if you're not familiar with Postman, there are some sample walkthroughs that you can find on the Forge blog as well. So once we request a token, you're going to have to sign in with your Autodesk username and password and allow access to this application as well. Now that we have our access token, we can use that token and copy it. Now we're going to be using this and in, in, in placing it in our global variables in Postman. So that way we can use it on any kind of calls that we do later, any uh, REST API calls that we do later. So let's create a new request, call it authenticate three factor. So we want to copy that authenticate, authentication token into our global variables so that, so that we can use it later. Now going back to the actual API reference, the first thing we're going to try to do is make sure we're using this three-legged context, which we already have the authentication token, and use this URL to get access to, to the user information, in this case, my user information. So to update these headers, we need to enter in an authorization header and use that access token that we've created and then we'll see here on the forge api header information that's this is the correct format so we're going to send this 
HTTP request, this REST request, and you see we get JSON back of my information on here. And then you can go use a JSON viewer. I use this one online and enter that data in there to, to read this JSON information back. So you can see here, I can see my user ID, my first and last name and my information in my actual images that I've uploaded to my BIM 360 team location. So with that authentication token, we were able to get my user information. Now let's go to our data management API. There's an additional step I want to take here and I want to get all the hubs specific to my user account. Now I'm going to go to this location, get the URL endpoint, enter that in as a git, and in my headers, do the same thing we did before with the authorization bearer and use my access token. And I'm going to send that since my access token is still valid and I get back JSON data of all my hubs. So I'm going to copy that and go back to my JSON viewer and copy that in so I can view the results here. Now that I have the results, if I go down to my data, expand my data section, I can see I have two hubs here and the IDs of those hubs. And I can see in my second hub, I can see my name there as a hub. So when I go back to A360 team, I hover over my user information. I can see that that hub information is actually there. It's pulling in the correct data.